And finally, new rule moving forward. Every previously unwritten rule about the presidency must be written down. If Donald Trump has taught everyone who ever dealt with him one thing, it's get it in writing. <laughs> and the American people are just the latest suckers to learn that the hard way. The Declaration of Independence starts with the words, we hold these truths to be self-evident. Self-evident. Because the founders assumed some things were so obviously repugnant they would just be covered by a sense of shame. And these were guys who owned slaves. <laughs> but Trump reminds us that some people will break every rule that's not specifically enumerated, from inviting Russian spies into the Oval Office to not releasing his taxes, from insisting law enforcement be loyal to him personally, to maintaining a for-profit business empire while in office, we are learning nothing is just understood anymore. It's like when they write, do not eat on silica gel packs. <laughs> I wouldn't eat one, but apparently some people open a shipping box and say, great, my new sneakers are here, and they came with snacks. <laughs> when you're a babysitter, when you hire a babysitter, you write down a list of rules, no boyfriend visits, no loud music. Stay out of my greenhouse. <laughs> <laughs> but no one thinks they have to write down, don't put the baby in the microwave. <laughs> well, with Trump, you do. <laughs> he reminds me of that Disney movie, Gus. Remember Gus about a, a mule who's signed by a football team to be their kicker? You see, because the rule book never specifically said that the players had to be human. Ready, Gus? <laughs> and that's Trump. <laughs> it is. He's the owner of a football team who signs a mule because it doesn't explicitly say he can't. You think he's gonna release his tax returns just because the others did? Not as long as Gus keeps kicking those field goals. <laughs> Presidents certainly have the right to appoint who they want to top posts, but <laughs> we forgot to write down, okay, but they can't all go to your son-in-law. <laughs> Nepotism is fine if you're a junk dealer like on Sanford and Son. <laughs> it's not fine when NATO has a conference on bioterrorism and you send your daughter the purse designer. <laughs> um, American presidents, every one of them, just knew it was the right thing to divest themselves of all business holdings if they were so honored as to become president. Because we don't want a president who's got his mind on his money and his money on his mind. <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy Carter sold his peanut farm. George Bush sold his baseball team. Sarah Palin closed down her meth lab. <laughs> We did not elect a swamp-draining reformer. We gave our PIN number to a Nigerian prince. <laughs> there is no more self-evident. We didn't think we had to write down when Russians or Nazis attack America, side with America. <laughs> we... <laughs> we didn't think we had to write down, don't run your crime family from the Oval Office. Don't threaten to throw your political opponents in jail. Don't talk shit in front of children. <laughs> don't... Well, fuck, I don't even know what this is, but don't do it. <laughs> And finally, a question that is asked a lot lately is, can a president pardon himself? And again, we don't know, since no one ever had the balls or the bad taste to try, because Madison and Jefferson never thought the executive branch would fall into the hands of a mule that plays football. <laughs> 
<laughs> but Trump actually asked his staff. He said, can I pardon myself? And Steve Bannon told him, why not? I can blow myself. <laughs>